10 things you can't live without. Neck, 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 toes. And I don't think it's ridiculous to say that. If you could have any animal as a pet without downsides, what animal are you picking? I think I'm gonna go with a uh, a pterodactyl. Either a pterodactyl or they do be asking the stupid shit about animals and shit. Man, I don't fucking know. Maybe like a lion or something, bruh. Some shit that bite a motherfucker. I've asked me questions like that, man. What superpower would you choose if you had the chance to get any any superpower and I need an explanation? First of all, I'm gonna time you out for 30 minutes because why are you telling me that you need an explanation from me? I'm not your I'm not your son and I'm not your friend. So watch how you're talking to me. I'm gonna give you a little 10 minutes. I'll never in your life talk to me like that because I'm not your kid, man. I'm talking about something you need an explanation. Who the f is you? I can tell you right now what superpower I want. Don't ask me the explanation afterwards, you ass nigga. No, anyways, if I had any superpower, I'm gonna either go with Incredible Hulk. You can't even really explain that he has a superpower. Like, you, you could just say him as a character because he doesn't have a power. He turned green, he gets strong, he's immortal. But I'm gonna say either Incredible Hulk or Super Speed. I, and let me explain something to y'all. Super Speed is the most OP power of all time. I'm gonna explain to y'all why. If a motherfucker moves at the at the, at an auto second, which don't even exist, how can you he can he, if they didn't if they didn't nerf the flash, he would kill everybody. You gotta think about it. If you can move fast enough to where motherfuckers is standing still and you're walking in a normal speed and you can time travel, yeah, exactly. If you think about it, the the flash is the most OP character over time that has to be nerfed down hundred percent. He would just kill it wouldn't be a, a Who can he fight? Like who who would win against the Flash? Think about it. Who would win against the Flash? If they really had him as fast as he's supposed to be. Not a single person. And one thing I hate is this. I hate motherfuckers that say Batman can beat everybody. Why do y'all suck Batman's dick, bro? Well, if he has prep time, he can beat anyone. Why he always need prep time? I'm getting sick and tired of this motherfucker saying you need some prep time. If Superman really wanted to, if Batman was super old man to walk up to a motherfucker and just break his neck, it's nothing that Batman can do. Are you still gonna have that stream with Tilly even though y'all made that YouTube video already? Stop being horny and you just join the Discord today, man. Take a day, man. Don't worry about if I'm gonna do the stream or not. You sit right there and you wait and see if I'm gonna do it. He trying to be my manager. Man, delete that message, man. And don't DM me talking about why I gave you a day either. I might start, I listen, today I'm handing out days and weeks. So I say y'all be careful. Yesterday y'all seen I went on a bandit spree, so don't play with me today. Have you ever been caught cracking a jump? Yeah, I already told the, the time I got caught by police twice. I got caught by police, police twice and he seen my BBC. My shit was hanging over my leg. I already told y'all the story time on YouTube, so I'm not telling it again. Why y'all putting question marks? He did see my BBC. When he came over to the car, I couldn't put my jeans on the time. My dangling was hanging over the side of my shit. My shit was damn near touching my, my shifter. How was that pause? My shit was like this. He came to the car, my shit was swinging like this. He actually he actually pulled his gun out because he thought I had a machine gun in my lap. He was like, sir, what is that? Put that snake away. I was like, nah, it's my dangling. He was like, oh, okay. Like, what the f you want your laugh off? What's the craziest beef you ever been in with someone or the dumbest reason you ever beef with somebody? Um, I can talk about this now. I never had beef with this person, but I can tell he had a, a slight issue with me, but it, he never pressed the issue. All right, so let me tell you guys something, right? So remember this, you know, everybody knows the story time about my ex that cheated on me, right? Everybody knows the story time. Okay, cool. So the day I went to school, right? And I found out my ex was cheating on me having trains running her and shit like that. The day I went to school, uh, and look, look, I'm gonna tell I never really told like too much of the day that I went to school in a YouTube video, but I'll get a little bit into it today for y'all. I got y'all a little it's not story time, it's a side story time, like a little details. But this is funny as hell though. So the day I went to school, right? Y'all know before I went to school the, the day before, right? The day before, y'all know I was crying in my room. Like, I went to my dad, I knocked on my parents' door, and I knocked on the door, and I was like, she cheated on me, dad. She was out there sucking dick. Oh, I told y'all, he tapped in my chest. You good, bro? Just go to sleep. We'll talk about it in the morning. All right, so boom. Y'all already know that start. So I go to sleep, right? Mind you, he told me to just go to sleep. That motherfucker told me to just go to sleep. Still to this day, this, this is not going to be, this is not another April Fool. This is a real story time. Shut up, Kendall, five time y'all for 30 minutes, and don't DM me. So boom, I go to school next day, right? I didn't talk for like the whole day, almost the whole week. I went in class, 
everybody knew what was going on, bro. Like, I had told you, it was just one white girl I was cool at the time. I had pulled her to the side and told her what was happening. Everybody knew I was upset. So I got to my second block, which was science. I sat down, and I had beef with one of my bros at the time. He said he looked at me. He said, bro, he instantly dropped the beef we had, right? And he was like, bro, I could just tell that you was sad, bro. I was just sitting there like this. Thousand yard stare. I had like a 20,000 yard stare. The whole day, bro, I was texting my parents. I'm like, bro, when I see cuz, it's up. They was like, nah, don't do it. So I'm sitting there, I'm like this, right? I'm gonna tell you how this came full circle. I'm sitting there like this, right? Boom. So boom, I see the dude, that one of the dudes that was so-called cracking my girl while dapping me up in school, he ran away when I tried to fight him, right? I was on some, I was on some time, I was on, oh, I was on timing. I seen him, I'm like, what's up with you? My man held me back. He walked away for the rest, like the whole week, he walked with like eight people every day. He did not want to see me, bro. So boom, after that, right? So this is this is the full fucking circle of how things you shouldn't laugh at people when things happen to people and it's gonna come back on you, right? So it was this dude, I ain't gonna say his name. It was this dude, right? A year prior to this, I had did some trolling shit, right? I had showed my pay, I had a PayPal account. And what I did was I pressed inspect element and I put 75 bands in my PayPal account and I posted on my Snapchat like y'all gotta get to work. So the same, so one of the dudes who the dude that, that was that me up with that was walking around with had seen that a year prior and had DM me like, bro, I need some bread bad, bro. Yeah, okay. I need some bread. Like, what you be doing? I was like, bro, I just be working. I just got businesses and shit, right? So boom. Right? So yeah, I was trolling that shit. I, I did expect element. I don't know why I was just felt like trolling that day. So the next, so the next year, obviously, that's one of the dudes that the dude who was cracking my girl that he said he was, he was walking around with him. So later on that day, the dude that DM me the year prior and one of his friends that later on the day that uh, I tried to fight the dude that was piping my girl, whatever, I'm walking past them. But as I'm walking past them, like I'm irritated, bro. My, I just found my girl was a hoe. I'm walking. I don't got no tears or nothing. I'm just you can just see it on my face, like bro, I'm not in the mood. So I'm walking past him, and the dude that did me a year prior, when he went past me, he made a loud ass laugh, like, ha <laughs> I turn around. He ain't turn around or nothing. So I'm like, what the fuck? I said, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe they made a joke. So I'm like, and they kept replaying in my head the whole day that he, he did that shit. So I come, so I get on the bus, I text him on Snap, I'm like, yo, what's funny? He like, what you talking about? He like, put like a little eye emoji. I'm saying, I walk past you in the hallway, what's funny, you got an issue or something? He said to me, he was like, uh, bro, it was just your face. Like, I heard what happened. Like, don't get mad at me, yo, girl, a hoe. And I said, well, that ain't funny. I said, your man's was ducking me, though. I said his, I said his face, I said, your man's was ducking me. He said, nobody gonna touch my brother. I said, he gonna get touched if I, if, 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 if I want him to. This is something like that. We was just going back and forth. I said, cuz gonna get touched. He ain't no motherfucking invincible. He was like, all right, we gonna see. Boom. So the next day, right, I let this shit go. Right, y'all saying pause, y'all never been no real no real issues. It, it, it is what it is, y'all can pause, that. I don't care. So I said, bro, we can get touched anytime, like he not invincible, whatever. So the next day, right? Uh nothing happened after this, like everything was like I just started to let this shit go. Now the same dude that said his brother wasn't gonna get touched, like nobody gonna touch my brother and shit like that. I'm like, alright, cool. Next year, this is the next year, my senior year, when I started going crazy with the bitches and started having all the bitches, right? The dude that said that shit to me. I was dating, well, I was talking to one of his sister's friends, right? And her and her sister friend had a problem. No, his sister's friend was had no her his sister was having a problem with me, right? So what what happened was I remember one day I was in photography class and I was arguing with, with the teacher. Like she used to be on my dick, bro. Like I used to come in there. I used to come in there, I used to have, uh, like, uh, what's some jokes called? Mont mozzarella sticks, orange juice or something? And she used to be like, oh, you can't eat in my classroom. And I was like, all right, well, if I leave, I'm not coming back. Like, you know, I'm a senior, I just go home. She was like, all right, well, you can do what you want. So I used to be like, all right. Like, I remember one day she was trying to argue about me about, like, some computers or something. I was just basing, I was cooking her ass, right? So I remember, like, her, uh, the girl I was talking to, her friend, his sister, his sister she used to, like, Wanted to say something to me when I was arguing with the teacher. Like she used to speak up, like, uh, like, like she was trying to tell me to stop and shit. So I'm like, who is this little ass girl talking to? Now this is a full circle moment. Why you don't play with people? Like don't laugh when some shit happens to somebody. So I never had an issue with her. So the girl I was talking to and his sister, his sister texted my the girl I was talking to and was like, yo, uh, 
you need to stop talking to him. He has like 10 girlfriends. Like, I'm just like, you You looking stupid right now. And the girl I was talking to was defending me, talking about some girl, you need to worry about your own man, don't worry about what's going on over here. Keep that energy, boo, when I see you in person and shit like that. So his sister was like, all right, bet, I'm gonna keep the energy in person. So the next day, right, I have to go to the doctor's office. I'm 18, I'm six, almost 6'1 six at this point. I don't, I don't care if y'all think I'm capping my height. I'm in the, the, the adult, I mean, the, the children's hospital. My mom was taking us to the children's hospital, bro. Like, for some reason, my mom was taking us to the children's, the children's, children's doctor's office. I got like little lollipops. I see on the wall like little trucks and dinosaurs and shit. I'm too tall to fit on the doctor's table to get examined and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all mom still taking y'all to children's house, like the, the pediatrician the shit when you like 17, 18. I'm like, man, why can't I go to a regular fucking hospital? She was like, just go to the little kid one. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm sitting there. The doctor coming in about to start rubbing my ball sack and shit. I always had women doctors, bro. Never had no man touching on my shit. My, my dad raised me right. Ain't no man touching my dick. Ain't no man touching my toes, my hands. Always a woman doctor stroking on my shit. See how long my shit, my BBC is. She always walked and said, damn, why is your shit nine inches on top? So boom. So I'm sitting there. I done got my done touch. They, they only touched on this shit. I'm sitting there. I'm looking at my phone. And somebody put me in the group chat. And it's a fight video. But in the fight video, I'm like, I'm looking and I'm noticing these. I, under, I know these people who's fighting. Mind y'all, I have the video of this fight because y'all always think I'm capping about story times. I don't give a fuck. Even my bros came on to stream and said, nah, his story times, all his story times is true. I'm not going to show the video because like I'm known now. On my granny grave, I have the video. I'm known now. I don't want nothing coming back on me. People getting mad, trying to sue. There's all types of crazy shit. So I'm not going to show the video. I don't care. Y'all can believe story time. I don't care. So, boom. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll show a screenshot. I don't know. But it's not insane to hear about two girls fighting. So, anyway, boom. So, I'm looking at this shit. And I'm like, hold on. I noticed that jacket, bruh. I clicked the video. His sister and the girl I was talking to was on the ground spinning around in circles fighting, bruh. His same sister, the same dude that laughed at me for getting cheated on, I made his girl, his sister look so stupid because they weren't even throwing hands, bro. Their hands were so weak. All they were doing was having each other's hair and spinning around in circles like this on the ground. The same dude that wanted to laugh because I got cheated on had his sister looking stupid. In a video, on video, on camera, she didn't have no hands. They both got their lips bust, spinning around in circles on shit. The same dude that wanted to laugh, because I got cheated on. The same dude had his sister looking so dumb, right? And here's the thing. So I come to school, I'm like, damn, they was fighting and shit. I'm like, shit, I'm chilling, all right, cool, whatever. So the next day, he see me, I'm walking out of the gym class. I just got done in my hoop session. You know how the high school hoop session used to be? You used to get out that bitch sweating like a motherfucker in freshman, motherfucker, first block. So I'm walking out, and I got my Crocs on. But I had my basketball shoes in my hand. So I see him conjugating over there with like three or four of his bros. But like three or four of his bros when I walk past, everybody starts staring at me. I'm walking with two of my mans. At least I know one of them wasn't really my mans or my bro. He was cool. But I knew the other one would try to defend me if we got into something. So I'm thinking, oh, ain't no pressure. Ain't say nothing. That's your sister. So as I'm walking out the gym, right, I get about halfway down towards the cafeteria before I hear, yo, T. I got my Crocs on, but I got them bitches in sport mode. I turn around, I got my shoes in my hand. I'm like, yo, I'm like, who called me? It's the dudes, it's the girl, the, the girl that fought, the girl I was talking to, her brother, the dude that laughed at me. I look around, he's like, yo, you still talk to like such and such? I shrug like, what, what, what the problem is? He's like, oh, no, I was just asking. Went back in the gym and had no, no, no pressure or nothing. No pressure. We could have gotten on right in there. I was about to drop my shoes. What's up with it? What? Ush, ush, ush. Fuck is you talking about? And I noticed something, bruh. When I shaved my beard off and only had this and this, nobody called me unk, bro. I'm about to go back to that shit. Oh, you thought it was over? I'm back. Really get yo GTARP beard dingleberries all on yo chin. Let's really talk about how your hairline was running slant routes double barrel shotgun big on nose boy bonehead stupid man. Let's have a great stream sub up yo. Yes, his ass. GTARP beard.
That shit was actually, I'm not even responding. That shit was actually ass. What's your favorite time of the day? Morning, afternoon, or nighttime? Man, take a 10 minute, man. Take a 10 minute, girl. Cause why is you asking me that, bro? Why the fuck is you asking me that, man? I like nighttime. I don't be sleeping and shit. All right, here we go with Camel Boy. Here we go with Camel Boy. I deeply apologize for my horrendous L the other stream. What are the top three things you should never mess with as a man? Cauliflower ears, the ocean, or someone's money. Top three things you should never mess with as a man. And I'm gonna start off with a W take. We're all grown men in here. We're not all, some of y'all some some of y'all some little ass kids, but for my grown dudes. Everybody that's in here that's been cheated on, you should know, never mess man with another man's girl. This is a W take. Everyone in here that's had their girl cheat on them, had, another, had your girl seen with another man, and you did it to another man too, but you realize you know how that feeling feels, you know that's a W take, man. Because let me explain something to y'all, right? A lot, a lot of y'all bitch ass motherfuckers don't know. Because a lot of y'all some bitches are stupid, man. The reason why you never mess with another man's girl, right? Let's break it down like this. Let's say you mess with another man's girl, and let's say instead of pulling the right route, which you should do, which is the wrong route because it's not right, but it's right because this is what you should do. Let's say you, instead of just cracking, getting the neck and moving on, let's say you actually get feelings for this girl. Have y'all ever heard of the saying, get real close, I want you to hear this one. Have you ever heard of the saying, you lose them how you get them. You feel that steam on your face? That's 10 pounds of the truth right to you. Ten pounds of the truth right to you. You lose them how you get them. And you might be like, oh, Banks, what, 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 Banks, what does that mean? Hmm. Let's say this, uh, this guy's girl you took from him that you think you're so cool for doing, you stupid mother. Let's say that you think to yourself, hmm. I remember how I took this guy's girl. I had more motion. I had a scat pack. I'm taller than him. My teeth were straight in his. Him and, him, him and his girl was going through it. And I slid in when I knew I should slide in. And she wanted to choose me instead of him. I took the motion method. What do you think is going to happen when you and your bitch or the bitch you took go through it? And someone with a McLaren who's 6'8", $300 million net worth, and 18 switches DMs your girl. <laughs> Magic Johnson, she gone. <laughs> she getting passed all around. What are you talking about? She gone. She gone. You lose them how you get them. Never mess with another man's girl because you lose them how you get them. And two, it's not a good look, bro. It's not a good look. And the reason why, and let's say fuck all that. Let's say you don't wipe her. You never really want to mess with another man's girl because you don't know what mentality he's in. He can be in stage five and the broke, just going through all types of bad shit like rent overdue, bills not paid, broke, trying to change his life. All car, you know, car got repo. He can be in crash out dummy mode. As men, we have a crash out dummy mode. It's a red button. All of our brain cells start working. Press the red button, press the red button. They get to running and smash that motherfucker. His girl just got f on camera. What you think will happen? He's coming with switches. He's coming with switches. Crash out dummy. And let me ask you a question. Let's say you want to defend yourself. So you telling me you okay with another dude's girl and have a potential to either get killed or kill someone else over some butt that's not even yours? That don't sound ludicrous to y'all? So you willing to die or not die about some pussy that's not yours, that's pussy that's really not going to be yours when you in jail or six feet under. So y'all both crash out dummies. Because that gonna move on stupid man that gonna move on when y'all both got so many holes in y'all that look like windows what she gonna do she might cry oh miss jeremy brendan come stick it in my ass she moving on that same day you cooked you're cooked it's over it's over and don't ask me how to, yo bro never mess with another man's girl man that's just my personal opinion that's that's I feel like that's, you don't even need three things to not mess with. I feel like one is fine, just never messing with another man's girl. What else should you, what should you mess with as a man? Money? Oh, money is a big one. Another man's dad?
Let me ask you a question. If you have a close bro is messing with a family member he is insane, that's insane? How? Like, if you want to mess with your man's sister or cousin, how is that insane? What if he gives you the blessing, though? How is that insane? How is that insane? But if it goes bad, she. She. You shouldn't mess with another man's money, for sure. That's a big one. Never mess with a man's money. Don't, don't play with my money, because I'm going to come after my money. I don't give a f if I gave you $2, I don't give a f if I gave you $50. I don't give a f if I gave you $100. The key word is this. If someone asks you for some money, the key word is this. Yo, can I get some money? You got the money. I'm not going to expect to give you back because you said, can you get some money? Yo, let me borrow some money. That's a black people thing. We put borrow in the wrong f words. Why are you saying let me borrow some sugar? I, you can't give me What you going to do? Regurgitate my sugar and give it back? What you mean borrow some sugar? Let me borrow some Kool-Aid. Let me borrow some deodorant. What you gonna do, scoop it off and put it back on the box? You, nah, my, you better tell me can I have some money. How much your ass need? Cause my shit coming with interest after two days. And don't play me. Don't say, oh man, I'll give you back the money on Thursday. Motherfucker, it's Tuesday of the next year. If I tell you, yeah, had this $10. Y'all try to say, oh, you make 19. I don't know what y'all, how much money y'all be saying I make a month. But I don't give a I got a hundred bands in my bank account. Hey man, I need that ten dollars. Can I put some money in my in my in my, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my gas tank? What are you talking about? Ain't no you tripping, motherfucker. You asked to borrow the money. I'm wrong for getting my money back. Excuse me. Let me ban him. His name Dexy though. Let me ban him. Fatal, appreciate the sub. Hold on, y'all. Let me ban him right quick. Let me find out who that was. Let me ban him right quick. Hold on. I'm gonna call him out too. Let me ban him. Let me ban him right quick. Oh, I can say his government. I ain't gonna say his government. Oh no, nah, he insane for putting his government on there. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna do that to you, bro. Honey, you're gonna do that to you, bro. What else y'all think a man should mess with? What else y'all think? A car? Another man's dick? Hold on, let me get in bad. Hold on, let's take a 10 minute. Your name is BBL Gang Mikey. You have 19, 18 timeouts? What the fuck have you done to accumulate 18 timeouts? What have you done to accumulate 18 timeouts? That's 190 minutes, bro. Holy shit. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all saying a homie's ex? I agree. I've never messed with another man's, my man's ex, bro. I've never messed with my man's ex, bro. And there's been plenty of times they wanted me to. I've never messed with my man's ex, bro. Never mind my mess with my man's ex, bro. And they wanted me to. They used to give me signs. I used to be like, no, I can't do it. You gotta think about it, cuz. You mess with another man's, your, your bro's ex. Bro, the same that you call your bro, that you dap up with, that you call your brother, he didn't already just her out. He didn't already just her. He didn't put it all over her face, all types of shit. So you telling me, as, your, as my bro is my man, you want to mess with my b I done already did this all the way. You supposed, first of all, f all the sex and shit. Bro, you supposed to be my bro, though. There is four billion pussies in the world. Why you want this one that I didn't wrung out like a wash rag? You weird, dude. You weird, dude. Like, I know some I know some of my bros that had one of my bros approach them like, bro, is it cool if I mess with your ex? What, nigga, what? Nah, man. That shit weird, cuz. I'm gonna keep it all the way real, cuz. That shit weird. Top colognes. I got one for you right now. Get this right here man this motherfucker right here Woo! this motherfucker valentino Woo! 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 this motherfucker right here i ain't gonna lie it's a little pricey it's like i think this was like 140 for this bottle this motherfucker make a bitch want to eat your ass man this motherfucker though it's uh it's uh it's unisex like anybody can wear it but it's a lot more masculine it's a lot more masculine. This Armani Cold. This one is actually discontinued. So you gotta find it. This Armani Cold Brown Jump. Woo! Boy, I'm trying to tell you. This motherfucker right here, it has this nice vanilla sweet smell. This motherfucker right here, is, if you get this bitch, I'm trying to tell you, cuz. This motherfucker hit. Women like this one. This one got this nice little vanilla soft, warm tone to it. I don't even have a pickup line, man. What we, who still uses pickup lines? What is this, the fucking 50? What am I gonna walk up to a girl and say, what's up, toot? What the fuck? I don't got no pickup line, cuz. Just walk up to a bitch and start talking to her. Quick tip for everyone here. To increase length and girth, purchase yourself a meat pump and some Viagra. Five minutes on, one minutes off. 20 minute sessions. Send me pics with your results.
Unk, would having females in your stream be a normalized audience? It seems like you only target the guys. Oh, who this is? Oh, no. You a man? How would you? Never mind. Real shit, you saved my life. Your streams are raw, bro, making me laugh and she. Thank you, my glorious sexy king. What the fuck you call me? You still haven't answered my question. Is it gay to eat a girl out after a dude busting her? Y'all know what time it is. Let's get it cracking. Don't DM me. Don't DM me either. Oh, my mama don't DM me. Oh, my mama don't DM me. I told you stop playing, dude. Ain't no no, don't ban, man. Girl, shake that laughing taffy. That laughing taffy. Now, I do want more girls in my stream, though. Not even on that type time. Not even on that type time. I do want more women in my stream. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting tired of this fucking sauces fest. I know I do have a lot of women viewers, but they just be in the cut. They just don't be saying nothing. Because they scared I'm going to time them out or they scared they don't like the way I be talking about girls and shit. But yeah, I do want more women and shit, man. There's too many men in here. There's too many sauces in here, bro. Feel what I'm saying? Are you gonna mod the strap back of Brazil? I just want me to. Um, I just want you to. Um, I don't know what you're doing. Hey, is that shit annoying? Is that annoying? Is somebody smacking? How loud is that shit? My nigga, I'm gonna just choke, bro. Yeah, that's karma. See, I'm playing around too much. <laughs> Yo, 